St. Ignace, Michigan, located on the northern side of the Straits of Mackinac. This city serves as a gateway to Michigan's Upper Peninsula. St. Ignace is rich in history and has a distinct small town charm. The Huron Boardwalk offers a scenic walk near the city's downtown, shops, restaurants, waterfront parks, and museums. Chief Wauwatom Park, home of the picturesque Wauwatom Lighthouse, is one of the most visited landmarks in St. Ignace. In addition to the lighthouse, the park also features a splash pad, a fishing platform, and a human sundial. After your walk, grab a bite to eat at one of the conveniently located restaurants along the shore. St. Anthony's Rock is another unique landmark to see in downtown St. Ignace. This now landlocked sea stack formed by erosion in a time when the level of the lake was much higher. As a great way to finish off the day, take in a beautiful sunset over Lake Huron. St. Ignace has a good variety of lodging options as well. Our first night in town was spent at the Colonial House Inn, a Victorian styled bed and breakfast with a rich history in the Gateway City. The oldest part of the home was completed in 1870, with the front addition being added in 1910. In 1945, the home was converted into an inn by a retired Great Lakes ship captain. The Colonial Inn has seven individually named rooms, all furnished in Victorian fashion. A friendly staff and a delicious breakfast make this a wonderful place to stay while in town. For a more rustic getaway, book a site at the Tiki RV Park, just north of downtown. We spent our next few nights here in the Tiki Tent that features everything needed to enjoy camping without the hassle of setup. The Tiki Tents have a queen bed and are perfect for your summer stay in the UP. Some other fun things to do in and around town include a stop at Castle Rock, one of the oldest lookout points near St. Ignace. Castle Rock rises 195 feet above water level and offers a view for up to 20 miles, featuring Mackinac Island, Lake Huron, and downtown St. Ignace. A bit further north and west of St. Ignace, near Newberry, Michigan, is another fun attraction, Oswald's Bear Ranch. As the largest bear-only ranch in the United States, Oswald has 40 bears and two large habitats.
with lots of room to roam, these rescue bears are given a chance to continue their lives in a natural habitat. Each of the four habitats has an elevated platform to get a great view of the bears in their surroundings. The ranch also features a large gift shop with souvenirs and historic memorabilia. Oswald's also offers guests an opportunity to get up close with the bear cubs and get a photo taken for an extra fee.